This is an anonymous alert. We repeat. This is an anonymous alert. This is not a test. Please stand by for important information. We know how the night ended. Philando Castile shot in his car after being pulled over by police. But why was he stopped in the first place? I'm gonna stop a car. The officer gives the license plate of the car Castile was driving. I'm gonna check that. He's have reason to pull it over. The two occupants just look like the people that were involved in our robbery. The driver looks more like one of our suspects just because of the wide set nose. A minute and a half later. Shots fired. Larpenger and Fry. Copy, you just heard it? You just heard the shots fired? They're all burning. Shots fired. Copy, shots fired. Larpenger and Fry. Do you need medics? Medics call it three. Copy, medics call it three to Larpenger and Fry. One adult female. Can take him to custody. Driver. <laughs> and gunpoint. Now, we're not sure which robbery the police officer thought Mr. Castile looked like. Just looked like the uh, people that were involved in our robbery. The driver looks more like one of our suspects just because of the wide set nose. A minute and a half later. Shots fired. Larpenger and Fry. Copy, you just heard it? You just heard the shots fired? They're all burning. Shots fired. Copy, shots fired, Larpenger and Fry. Do you need medics? Medics call it three. Copy, medics call it three to Larpenger and Fry. One adult female. Can take him to custody. Driver. At gunpoint. Howling at the moon. There are sinners like me, our judgment's coming soon, and I'll stand at the bottom of this dark and lonely well, saying, please give me answers, so I might escape hell. As they gun down on our men Trying to say it's not my problem Couldn't happen to my friends But the truth is they're my brothers They're my countrymen And if we lose our better angels We won't get them back again Come on and raise your Can't hold our breath forever when our brothers cannot breathe. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Our brothers cannot breathe. Oh, whoa. Greetings citizens of the world and in particular the citizens of the United States of America. We are anonymous we do not forgive. 
and we will never forget. You should have expected us. We are here today to talk about our fallen brothers and sisters of police excessive use of force. Or to use a more honest term our murdered brothers and sisters. We have all watched these cases roll by. With no real convictions or any kind of accountability at all in most cases. But more important no justice we all as a people want justice in some form. But in case after case there's no justice to be had. None of us can ignore the racism that stands strong in America today. All you have to do is tune in online. And it stands out loud and clear. The racist trolls are on every hashtag of our fallen brothers and sisters spitting out hateful mindless word. Just to make themselves feel a little better about their own sad little lives. They use hate to blind their self to their own fate. We even have political candidates spreading racist rhetoric in 2016. But all of this is leads us to one point. Our very freedom is under attack in America. By some of the very people sworn to protect those very freedoms. We all want to believe in the same thing for the most part. We all want to believe that all men are to be born free of harm in America. But yet in video after YouTube video we see. This is just not the case in America today. Our hearts are just left to break from video to video. But out of all of this a movement was born. Born out of necessity when shots rang out against an unarmed young man named Mike Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. It's a case most of us know all too well. But more of us don't know well enough. Out of this sorrow and grief the Black Lives Matter movement was born. It was a movement that was born with the hopes of stemming the tide of police aggression and violence against unarmed people. Those of us in the movement hoped that somehow. If we raised our voices loud enough and high enough. Maybe. Somehow we could break the cycle of murder. Somehow we could de-escalate the situation which is something we don't see the police don't often enough. We were hoping to force police departments around the country to come to the terms. With their department's excessive use of force policing tactics. We were all hoping somehow we could get the situation to decrease and slow down. Because at the time that Mike Brown was murdered the police in America were murdering an unarmed person every five to seven days. But to our horror as we can see now the police have not slowed down at all as a matter of fact they have escalated their killing and murderous ways to a horrifying rate. To a point at which now police are murdering an unarmed person every other day almost in America. The list of names is long and heartbreaking. But this list has led us here to you my friend you see this horrifying list is self-evident that freedom is under attack in America. And the only person who can save said freedom. Is you. If you're a proud American raised to believe in freedom. It is your duty as an American to stand up for your brothers and sisters freedom. Is it not? For if we are not willing to stand up for our brothers and sisters freedoms. Who is it that we would expect to stand up for ours? But you can't stand up for freedom alone you must stand united with others but to stand united you must have a cause and a purpose. Justice is not just a word. Justice is action and you are that action. So. From this day forward we call for this day and every day till November 5th, 2016 to be a day of rage. And on November 5th, 2016. In Washington DC. We will march in peaceful protest on Washington DC for our fallen brothers and sister. For Black Lives Matter. For Ferguson. For Justice. We call on all members of Anonymous. Spread this message to the people and be sure to walk your fingers over to that. RT and follow button. And do a little protest finger tap dance. But. Beyond anything else. Remember remember the 5th of November 2016 Black Lives Matter Million Mask March on Washington DC. We'll meet you there. Cause. We all have the capacity to change the world around us. We all have the ability to affect the world and to make it a better place. Never doubt your ability to change the world. Cause people like you are the only ones who ever truly have. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. It's too late to expect us. May peace be with you always.